Tonight we have uh, Jacob Scott and Cody uh, Byers. Um, the vice presidents will not be taking uh, place in this debate, just the presidents. Um, real quickly, just go over the format so everyone knows what's going on. Um, we have three topics of discussion. Uh, SGA's relationship with administration, SGA's relationship within itself, and SGA's relationship with the student body. <clears throat> um, the questions will be asked specifically to one candidate. They'll have two minutes to respond, and then their opponent will have one minute to rebuttal. After the Griffin News has already asked their questions, we will open the questions up to the audience. Um, lastly, I'd like to thank uh, SGA for letting us co-sponsor this with them. So, um, and good luck to both the candidates. Good evening, candidates and guests. Thank you very much for being here. My name is Ellis Cross, and I work with the Griffin News, and I write a column called cross-reference. And I would like to give each of you an opportunity to introduce yourselves and tell us why we should vote for you. We've got about one minute for that, though. So, uh, and since we started the questions with Mr. Byer, we're going to start the introductions with Mr. Scott. Excellent. Well, thank you, everyone, for coming out to this debate. I really appreciate it, and it speaks volumes to the students of Missouri Western um, that we would come out in support of, you know, just campus activities like this and SGA and governance and, and being a part of the, the system that helps change the university for the, for the good of the students. So thank you very much. Um, my name is Jacob Scott. I am actually uh, running for SGA president. I am the current executive vice president of Student Government Association. Um, so I'm kind of responsible for presiding over the student senate, um, as well as representing students on the executive board. Um, I'm on several different committees um, representing on behalf of the Student Government Association, but more importantly, I don't represent the association, I represent students. But um, moreover, um, in my background, I have been a resident assistant in Scanlon Hall for a year, so I've uh, been able to be in Scanlon and, and um, live with residents and serve them, and I really had a great uh, opportunity there, and I really appreciate that. Um, I also work in the admissions office as a uh, representative in the admissions office, and I uh, uh, get to do campus tours, college visits, all that kind of stuff, and I really do appreciate it. And when you run over, I do interrupt you. Absolutely. So I do appreciate um, you guys uh, considering me, um, and I really do appreciate uh, you guys being here. Mr. Hello, my name is Cody Byers. I'm a mathematics education major. I am a sophomore currently. I am involved in SOMS, which is the subset of undergraduate mathematics students. I've competed in calculus competitions and conferences. Um, I'm here to make a difference for the students. I'm here to represent the students. I am the change candidate, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get in office, and I'm going to change things. Good luck to both of you guys. We'll start the question with you, Mr. Rice. Uh, I think you won the toss, as it were. Uh, we're going to start with the relations with administration questions first. What do you think of SGA's current relationship with administration? Um, obviously, Jacob's been the uh, vice president for a year and a half now. He has been able to establish relationships with um, multiple members of the, of the administration. Um, but he's not the only person on campus that can do that, though. They're a group of professional administrators. and. I, I'm going to make it my goal to get in there and set up mutual relationships with them, be able to cooperate with them, make compromises with them, and when they're making big topic decisions, I want to be the voice of the students that keeps the students the, the, what the students want in the minds of the administration. You have one minute for a rebuttal. Oh, well, thank you very much. Uh, I think it's an excellent question to talk about, um, you know, experience and how uh, building a relationship with the administrators is absolutely important, but. I think what's more important than building a relationship with the administrators is having your support base, which are the students. And I feel that I've done a more effective job rather than working with administrators than actually, than actually I've been working representing students. But uh, more importantly, I think there's a difference that we might slightly have in um, building a relationship and having the opportunity to do so. Uh, but I think it's more important to have someone that's already had the established connections with, um, with the administrators. Um, over you know three years, I've been involved in student government, so having that relationship already is definitely going to help our student body, uh, student body's interests be advocated uh, more quickly. Man, thank you. And Mr. Scott, you had the next question um, uh, in regards to the possibility of a new student fee. Uh, to many outside observers, it may appear as though uh, Senate and the executive board are letting the administration influence the SGA. Uh, how would you describe the relationship with the administration concerning the possibility of a new student fee? 
Well, I thank you for the question. It is an excellent question. Um, and actually, uh, under my current leadership with the executive board, we have issued a statement that um, the only way that we can even conceptualize the student fee is if we have a lot more information than we currently have. And I think that's responsible leadership is to request a lot of information so that we can make an informed decision when it comes to it. Uh, but working with the administration on the student fee hasn't been necessarily a problem because we've been very upfront um, as an executive board, and personally I have been upfront about the information that I require um, to make such a decision. But I do, I'm the kind of leader that's gonna leave everything on the table, and working with them has been a pleasure. Uh, but definitely I've been very upfront about uh, the whole working with the administration on the student fee. And you know, in its current facet, I do not support a student fee. I need a lot more information. As of right now, I'm against the student fee, and uh, here's why. Missouri Western students already pay more per capita than any other uh, public university in Missouri. We pay $50 to student government every single year, and um, we just, honestly, we're not seeing enough results. Uh, what they're doing is good, but we don't, we're not getting enough. Um, we want to take their ideas of uh, committee reconstruction and um, and we want to reconstruct the committees to work more effectively with organizations. Um, when, when students don't see the results from the fee, the last thing they want to do is pour more money into what's causing the problems. Um, <clears throat> Jacob, uh, he might say he's against it, which he did, um, except this, this doesn't seem credible because honestly, he, he's not against letting students pay the most money and not, giving, not working as hard as he can to give them back exactly what they need. So as the, uh, as the candidate, um, I want to work for the students and give, them, give the students the money back that they deserve. Okay. Before we move on to the next topic, I want to remind the audience that you do have the opportunity later on, you will have the opportunity to ask your own questions. So if you would, as things go by, if you can make a mental note of those, uh, we will have a time later on for the audience to ask questions also. So I want to remind you of that. We're going to move on now to the intra-governmental relationships, the actual relationship with STA members. Uh, and again, we're going to Mr. Byers. Uh, would you describe STA's low Senate enrollment as a problem, or is it an advantage? Uh, it is definitely a problem. Uh, we, as, a, as a university, people need to be more involved. Uh, one way to do that is to get 20 senators in, in the meetings every week and have them working hard, not only on Mondays when they meet, but on the off weeks too, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays. Um, they, our, our big goal is to send the senators to the organizations. We don't want the, we don't want the organizations to come with us. We want to work as a, as a university, as an entire campus, to get people the, the budget that they want and the budget that they ask for. So. Basically, our goal is to send the senators to the students and not sit back and wait for the students to come to us. All right, thank you. Um, I, I, I do appreciate your answer and the fact that you, um, you do state that you know, it is a problem, but I like to look at things more as challenges rather than problems itself, because I think through challenges, there are opportunities to make things happen. And uh, as the executive vice president, which is my current position, um, I was able to take a Senate from six members to 18, which I think is a major accomplishment, you know, to have almost a full Senate, two, two senators away from a full Senate. And I, you know, I think that that uh, speaks volumes to what you can do, but let me tell you, it's very difficult to do that, and you have to have the leadership abilities to do that, and um, I definitely exhibited those qualities that students look for and whatever they think about joining the Student Senate. And your question, Mr. Scott, now is, uh, do you have any plans to recruit any new members into SGA, and if so, how are you going to do that? And please include plans for the Senate and also the one. Activity Council. Right, you do make a very good point. I thank you for the question. Um, to be president, you actually are over the Western Activities Council and um, the Student Senate. So with senators, um, I'm excited about my uh, vice presidential candidate, Warren Upton. She's a Twitter genius, so she's going to have a great marketing um, plan, strategic marketing through Twitter. Um, we're going to have the innovative uh, interactive commu committee structure that I've already put in place this year for the Senate to get more people involved, which is, uh, you know, happened this year from six senators to 18, like I was saying. And with the Western Activities Council, what it has to do, um, which Lauren, uh, Lauren Dillon 
and Elena Asher have done a great job improving the membership under my current leadership with Allison. Uh, we tripled the number of WAC members, so we're just going to continue to do the same, that we, the same things that we do, uh, which they've been doing a lot of the social media type things to get people out. So definitely it's been a great experience. Working with Griffin Edge and registration programs is also critical, and that's something that, I, you know, being in admissions, I can definitely bring to the table. Um, as Jacob said, he moved it from 6 to 18. I would like to always have 20 senators. Um, we have plans, like I said, we want to we wanna install two ad hoc committees, which are temporary committees that only meet when they need to. Um, those two committees are actually going to deal with uh, campus surveys and polls and government relations. These are things that are touched on by uh, Jacob and the current administration, but I think that we can elaborate these plans better. Um, we also want to split all, all of the senators amongst two primary <coughs> committees, one that deals with campus improvement and infrastructure, and the other deals with assisting the organizations and events. Um, the first committee will focus on places such as academic departments, disability service, services, and any other um, areas that need uh, fixing on campus. The second committee is going to work with campus organizations and students that aim to benefit campus life. So we're going to work with uh, like lighting on campus. Overall productivity will increase with the new committee structure, and most importantly, students will see a result. Next question, Dr. Uh, in a recent article I read Com. Several members of the Senate uh, have already voiced a negative opinion of your campaign. I don't know if you are aware of that. It's on GoodWithNews.com. There are responses to the article. Uh, if elected, how do you plan to mend the relationships with those senators? Um, obviously, it's no hard feelings. Everyone has their own opinions. Um, I, I, I think that they're intimidated by the fact that uh, the current administration is being challenged. Like you said before, it hasn't happened in a long time. Uh, I was talking to Jacob backstage, he said since before he's been at school here, they, there's never been a challenge to the election. So I, I want to I want to say that it, it's okay that they were forcing their opinions. I'm glad that they are. Um, it kind of brought me back down to earth a little bit. Um, I think that people are afraid of change. I think that they're, they, they are afraid that I'm going to get in there and I'm going to screw everything up. That they think that I have no leadership capabilities at all. I am a Golden Griffin Scholar, so that, I mean, that right there says, well, the, the number one um, quality for, to be a Golden Griffin Scholar is to be a leader. Kelsey, my Vice President, is also a Golden Griffin Scholar. She is the uh, historian of Alpha Kappa Psi, the professional business at, um, fraternity, and she's the Vice President of the Spanish Club. So, for people to come say, uh, that we just don't have any leadership abilities is, I mean, that's wrong. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge the people. I'm glad that they're voicing their opinions. Um, as far as many relationship goes, if, if they're a good hard worker in my office, then I, I want them to stay in my office. If their productivity is down and is not where it needs to be, then I want, I would like to replace them with someone who will be more productive. I thank the gentleman for the rebuttal. Um, the thing that we need to focus on here today is I want to go back to something that Cody said. He said he's a, a Golden Griffin Scholar, okay? I want to be very real with you for a second. I come from a, di a very different perspective, okay? Um, I had a 19 ACT score when I came to Missouri Western, and I didn't have any scholarships, okay? So I'm not a Golden Griffin Scholar. But what I did from day one is I worked extremely hard, and I got a very good GPA. I got a 3.8 GPA, and I achieved everything through hard work and being involved and doing those things. And my opponent is simply saying, he's making all these promises and saying that he's a Golden Griffin Scholar, and that he's gonna know what's best for you. That's essentially what we're getting at today. Where I come from a different perspective, I am a person that has worked for everything, and I wanna ensure that Missouri Western students have the same opportunities that I've had. And today, I am in fear that with the current budget situation, that if we don't have a bold leader in office, we will lose those opportunities for students.